As soon as the northern states that prohibited African slavery within their limits had reached a number sufficient to give the representation a controlling voice in the Congress, a persistent and organized system, hostile measures against the rights of the owners of slaves in the southern states was inaugurated and gradually extended. With an interest of such overwhelming magnitude, imperiled the people of the southern states were driven by the conduct of the north to the adoption of some course of action to avert the danger with which they were openly menaced.